Hey guys, it's Ryder here with my Power Rangers Ninja Steel Episode 4 Drive to Survive Review. This is episode 5 of the new season, and this time we're focusing on Calvin, the Yellow Ranger. Now, this is a character who I've actually really seemed to enjoy the last couple of weeks, especially his relationship with Haley. Uh, I think the downside to this character and, and Haley, and even kind of Sarah, is that obviously we haven't really had time to, to meet them fully. You know, we, we've just been briefly introduced to each and every one of these Rangers. We've had a lot of focus on Brody. We've had some focus on Preston, but not really the other Rangers. So that's kind of what these, you know, upcoming episodes are for. Uh, I'd say it's really starting with this one, diving into these characters so we can really love them. Something I need to address, though, is uh, I think I addressed this at the beginning of my two weeks ago, my review of Ninja Steel. Uh, but it, it is the the really the, the quality of this season. And I think a lot of people, for some reason, are, tr are kind of hating on this for some reason. And, uh, you know, this is coming from a hardcore Power Rangers fan. I, I, I just rewatched all, you know, leading up to this fifth episode all the episodes together and while you know at times maybe that's not the best idea because then it might seem to you know drag right maybe it feels like it's dragging if you watch too many power rangers episodes all together i thought these the story flows so well and i i think a lot of people are not giving this the, right now they are not giving this show and this cast the credit that they deserve so i think we got to calm down here i think everyone's blowing this way too out of proportion the acting from will Schufelt is not bad Bad. Okay, I mean it's not good, but it's not bad. And this is not to me. I I, I rewatched a lot of Samurai recently. I rewatched a lot of Mega Force and Super Mega Force and even Dino Charge. And while you know at times it, maybe it doesn't hit where the first season of Dino Charge did, uh, it is by far blows Samurai and Mega Force out of the water. And it is a, it's if it's if it's not tied with Dino Charge, it's a close second. So let's calm that down. Also, one last disclaimer: I am kind of getting over a cold right now, so my. If my voice or nose or whatever is doing some weird things, just take it easy there. So here we go. Let's jump into this thing. So we start off the episode, and we've got Kelvin, and he's built this new bike. Now, his whole, like, uh, the, the idea that, that we've kind of formed with him and, and the personality he's kind of shaped is that he is the boyfriend of Haley, and Haley is his girlfriend. They've got this really cool kind of, like, clicky-ish type relationship that they just kind of join in. They're, they're part of the group. Uh, they, they're, they know Preston. And Kelvin really, really likes his car, Nitro, or the Nitrous car or whatever. I think it's Nitro. I, I don't even know. I don't even, I'm not sure. I his Zord's the Nitro Zord. He has he named his car something similar to that. Whatever. It's a big yellow truck, and uh, him and Haley they seem to just go on adventures in this car. And Haley brings her dog Cody. So there you go. That there's the and we we know Calvin knows how to fix cars and he likes screwing with cars and you know doing all this and that's kind of the identity that he's formed within the show and within all of us. But right here, this episode did something that I didn't expect this show or this episode to do at all. It really flipped the character on the head, and it, it, it brought a new dynamic to this character. And once again, it made me believe more in this relationship between Haley and Calvin. Now, the big twist here, it's not, I mean, it's not a huge twist, but it kind of is. We assume that Calvin loves driving and riding bikes and, you know, all these extreme things. But he can't drive. He can't ride a motorcycle. And he's, like, afraid of this. Now, I'll, I'll jump into that in just a minute. But let's just think about this. Haley, Haley says, hey, I'm, I'm kind of his personal chauffeur. Think about it. Every single single time what we've seen Calvin in his car or whatever Haley's in the driver's seat she is driving and every and I, I was I I think I I actually I made that comment in my episode two review I'm like hey that's Calvin's car why you know when they're with Mick and, and they're running away from those kuda bots why is Haley driving and I'm like all right hey I'm I don't care right it's just a little thing it's that. It is that right there, guys. When you say Power Rangers is lazy, no, that that's not lazy. That's you know that's really that's that's character building. That is that is forming a an identity within this team and for us. So now you look at Calvin and you, and you think, hey, this guy, he's interesting, right? You know, he he loves doing all these things with machines, but he doesn't really want to be part of them. So this episode is primarily about him conquering his fear of you know riding a motorcycle 
motorcycle, right? You know, driving a car uh, to save Haley, to save the rest of the team because they've been sucked up by this spider monster called Tangleweb. Now, this is actually a pretty cool monster. So let's just let's move more into this part. Uh, we, we, you know, obviously Calvin X, he, you know, I like how they're calling him Champ. Also, they're not calling him Master or Sir. They're calling him Champ. So I think I don't, I don't know. I wanted to bring that up because you know what? Why not? You know, I thought it was cool. And Ripcon's there, and he's like, "All right, we, we've got a new monster. We got his name's Tangleweb, and all that." And uh, you know, it, there, there's some back and forth comments between Galvin X and Ripcon, and it seems like Galvin X is starting to, at this point, get a little fed up with Ripcon, because Ripcon is producing these mm, odd monsters that, you know, are being somewhat successful in destruction, and they, they seem threatening, but they're not doing much. They're not getting any power stars. So Rip, you know, Ripcon, he, he's he's starting to get on that thin ice there, so he sends down Tangleweb, and Tangleweb, well, he's got an interesting, he, he's in some interesting powers. Now, what I do have to appreciate about every single villain that they've put down, monster, uh, in this show so far, is that they all have these very interesting and kind of special uh, abilities. They're not just, you know, guys, in, I mean, they, they are guys in suits, but the bottom line is they're not just, you know, the same, they, they don't have the exact same powers, right? Like, if you look at something, I'll use the example of Super Mega Force. the monsters there, they all had different, you know, outfits or whatever, but they all did the exact same thing. That was it. These guys, they are, they're, they're original, and then that guy kind of goes for all Power Ranger seasons in the past. They're just another monster, right? These are just another monster, but, you know, this guy, he can grow and shrink into a, a little spider. He's been fooling people by turning himself into a spider, uh, and then he, he can create this massive vortex, and it, this vortex, it's basically him eating people, and he eats them, and they go into this spider prison, but it's really his stomach. So, or not really his stomach, but this, like, tank on his back. It's really interesting. So I, I thought that was pretty cool that they did that. I like the voice for this guy also. And uh, Tangleweb, he gets down to Earth and he goes and he goes to the high school. It's Summer Cove High. And what does he do there? Well, he has to run into, you know, Monty and Victor. Because, you know, Monty and Victor, what are they doing? Well, what are they doing here? They're, they're, they're eating beans. No, no, they're not eating beans. They're chugging beans. Like, yeah, like canned beans. Why? What is the logic to this chugging of beans? Well, the logic to the chugging of the beans is so that Monty will start farting. And then soon after, Victor will start farting. So the teacher will be like, well, what, are you, what the hell are you guys doing? You know, get out of here. You know, leave class early. So their idea is to fart in class. So then they can be removed from class early. And then Victor's like, yeah, it's a good plan. It's a good plan. So, you know, these are the two idiots that we've got here. And uh, it's it was – I thought – I thought they, they, they're, I, I kind of like seeing them just because I think it, it makes the high school area feel more real because I, I don't know how to explain it. It just, if you didn't have two characters like that, if you just had the fi- the five main rangers and, uh, you know, Mick, uh, I, I just feel like the, the high school kind of experience wouldn't really be there. So I kind of enjoy that, just seeing them just to kind of be um, submerged within the high school more, whatever. I know it's kind of weird. I don't really, I didn't care for the story that much with them basically they get you know webbed by tangle web and you know they keep farting because now in 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 this web and the the webbing expands and now they're running you know from the school in this big kind of like you know balloon type of tangled thing and uh Everyone's like running away from them because they smell and that's it. And then they start flying away. So it, it is pretty Bulk and Skull like. I think what made Bulk and Skull so funny though is just because they looked like idiots and they fully behaved like idiots and that's what made them funny and they had their own theme song these guys you know i think they're just they're not i wouldn't i'm not going to say that they're bad i just think that you know there, there maybe could be other things but again it, it makes the high school area feel more real so had to address them that's pretty much all i'm going to say about that meanwhile uh sarah we know sarah likes to go fast and i gotta tell you i think that the whole again i i commend this cast so much because you know i follow them on instagram and all of that and twitter uh, the ones who have Twitter, and uh, I watch all these vlogs of them, you know, filming behind the scenes. I fully love this cast so, so, so much. 
just a, a fantastic cast, and I, I don't, there has not been one Ranger yet that I've, I, I have seen, and I'm like, nah, I don't like them that much. Really enjoyed all of them. Sarah comes in here, she's, she's got great personality coming from Christiane, and uh, she's, she's like, okay, I, I like to go fast, I'll ride your motorcycle. So she ends up teaching uh, Brody and Calvin, because Brody always wanted to learn how to ride a motorcycle, and which, you know, that's kind of cool also, because it's, it's showing Brody more about Earth, right, because he hasn't been on earth in 10 years uh so brody picks up the, on this real quick and i think this is something that may just kind of go under the radar right now but i do kind of wonder will brody will, will this be something that plays out in future episodes where brody can learn a ninja move or some some skill very quickly and i mean I, i'm probably going way too deep into this but <laughs> what who cares right who cares i don't know just he he picks it up really really fast kelvin on the other hand doesn't he he can't he's on the smaller bike and he's crashing into things and he's all set sad and pissed off and we find out this is he he's afraid to ride because he was on a go-kart when he's little and he white had this really huge you know traumatic wipeout and he's just he's afraid to do anything again in case he wipes out or hurts himself or hurts other people so uh that's kind of it and Haley comes over she's like calvin maxwell she uses his last name calvin maxwell you can do anything i i you're you know it's all that right so the, the pep talk from Haley, and again i truly i do buy this relationship between the two of them because the the two of them are, again, I'll say the word clicky. They they kind of have formed their own clique together. With It's like a sub-team within the team, but it's not, like, super defined. Like, think about Ninja Storm, right? You, you had your Thunder Rangers. After, after, you know, the evil Thunder Rangers became non-evil, right? The Thunder Rangers were kind of their own team. It was super defined from the, the main team, right? This is different because they're obviously all part together, but it, it does kind of feel like that where they are off on their own together at times, and I do appreciate that. So Calvin, he's like, all right, I'm all wet. I got to change. You know, there's no hope for me, all that, right? He runs away. In the meantime, Preston, he's like, hey, look at this. There's a little spider. He's got to be careful so we don't say, oh, my God, what's what? And then that the spider transforms into tangle web, and he's like, Rangers, I want to eat you for food. And then Brody's like, there, there's no eating on, of the Rangers. They're not in the menu today. It's morphin time, ninja spin, all that, right? And we actually do see somewhat of a new morph sequence, not really really it's obviously the same morph sequence uh higher definition now because you know thank god and uh the, the other thing is they are doing some some kind of uh, similar to what Dino Charge did where they did use some stock more footage. Now, it made sense in Dino Charge because, like, they had to do this massive choreographed, like, dance move kind of thing every single time they were going to morph, and that would have taken forever to film and probably would have annoyed the crap out of the whole team after 42 episodes or whatever, 44 episodes. So, they used stock more footage. It kind of made sense. Here, you know, they, they've added this you know, kind of ninja thing where they swing the morpher around. I, I personally think this stock footage looks cool, but hey, uh, you know, interesting choice. So they morph up. They kind of get all. They all get sucked into T Tangle Web, except Brody. And Brody, he's he has a, a fight with Tangle Web solo. And I gotta tell you, I think all of the footage. Not, nah, I shouldn't say all, because the end of it was some Japanese footage, but I'd say at least 80%, maybe 85 of 85%, nah, 80% of this episode was American footage. American shot, ranger fighting, uh, super, super cool, super, super cool, really love that. So, uh, hoping that they can provide more of that in the future. Brody ends up getting sucked in, Tangle Web, thought the acting for Will Schufelt was fine, don't worry about it, not a big deal, okay? It's not, it doesn't ruin the whole show for me. Uh, uh, like it did for some other Rangers in the past, like uh -huh, Troy. Uh, so, you know, Calvin shows back up. And he he kind of just he sees you know Brody gets sucked up and uh, you know he, he doesn't know what to do so he goes back to the base and we get to see more of Redbot and Mick forging new power stars and I love this so much I I've, I've, I've said it in the past but I, I first of all I love Mick he's just fantastic okay love the base that's that's also fantastic and I love the way they just whip the 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 the, the throw the uh, the ninja steel stars into the ninja nexus prison and they shoot out as power stars. It's just so cool. It's just such a cool, you know, transition 
and uh, idea. I really love that. Uh, so Calvin gets back in there, and he's like, you know, Mick, I don't know what I'm going to do. All the Rangers sucked up, which we do. Uh, Mick and him, they have some sort of a pep talk. And, uh, we, you know, we, we hear, you know, Brody saying, you know, we're, we're all trapped in here. We need your help, Calvin. Uh, Calvin sees a vision of the bike that he created, which also got sucked up with the Rangers. Now, the Ninja Nexus Prism shows the vision. I also like this because I've said this in the past. The Ninja Nexus Prism and Mick combined are basically the mentors of the season. And I think that's cool because it's like, you know, what is this Ninja Nexus Prism? Where did it come from? Who sent it to Dane, to Dane Romero 10 years ago? I do believe that we will find that out. So I, I don't think we have to worry about that right now. But very fascinating idea. So really like that. Calvin understands that this is what he has to do. Uh, Mick gives him an, uh, it seems like it's an American exclusive Power Star. Now, I don't know if that's fully true. I didn't watch Ninja. Uh, you guys can let me know in the comments. But this looks like a fully American uh, exclusive Power Star. And Calvin is going to use this to power up his bike. He ju- this, is, this is so badass, okay? He, he, there, there's another fight scene between Tangle Web and Calvin. Calvin pulls out his sword, unmorphed, jumps into the mouth or the, the vortex thing of Tangle Web. That was so badass. He he could have morphed, you know. I would have morphed if that was me, right? He didn't. He he jumps in this thing and he's like, you know, Haley, are you okay? And I love that he's only thinking of Haley first, you know. Like he he didn't say like Brody and Preston and Sarah and, and also Haley, are you doing all right? No, it was it is it Haley? Is Haley okay? Haley's fine, you know. She's a Power Ranger. Chill out, bro. And uh, the bike's over there, so go ahead and take that look at that. He plugs in his Power Star, uh, his new one, into the his bike, and it transforms into this. Ninja bike and it's pretty cool. He the way he gets out of this is he like busts out of the the tank by riding super fast on the bike and the rest of the Rangers shoot out after him. Uh, there was a really cool end fight scene where the you know Sarah uses her water attack and the rest of the Rangers they kind of like sneak attack take down Tangle Web with their morphers and they use all these different modes. We get to see the hyper blade you know claw thing at the end, which is basically their final attack. They take down Tangle Web and up in space. Uh, Cosmo Royale's like, dudes, do you want to see him grow? And they're like, yes, make him grow fireworks. And, you know, you know, you know how Cosmo Royale is. He presses the, he presses the blue button, uh, gigantifies, and we, we see the gigantified Tangle Web. Tangle Web, he tangles up all their Zords after they call their Zords. They're all stuck. So what does Mick do? Mick has a new star. And he, he sees a vision of elephants in, in the Ninja Nexus prism. He's like, what are those unruly beasts? And Redbot's like, I don't know, but I think we should see what's going on with them. And Mick throws in his new Ninja Steel star, and he uh, out pops the Rumble Tusk Green Sword, whatever it's called. And I love this motion also. He just throws the Power Star up to Brody. So wherever Brody is and Brody catches it, he plugs it in. We see the we see the debut of the Ninja, or the, the Rumble Tusk Megazord, or whatever. And that comes out. It's a really cool Zord. It has this battle mode, attack mode, where it like shoots and they basically they take down tangle web uh they break free it's got these suction modes and the shoot mode it's really really cool zord uh, we see the rubble tusk megazord a new cockpit really sweet i love how they're doing that they're changing them every week and uh, they take down tangle web and the result of this is uh galvin x is pissed yeah of course he's gonna be pissed and who does he get pissed at ripcon so he he consults his good friend madam odious the current owner of the gold power star and galvin x is like what should we make mr khan do and she's like well ripcon i i think that we're gonna have some beans for dinner and I, and I, I kind of think you maybe you want to clean our toilets. You, should we do? Should we have that happen? Galvin X is like, yes, clean my toilet. It better be spotless. And Ripcon's like, ah. Oh. This reminded me of Elsa and Zeltrax. Now, obviously, Elsa and Zeltrax kind of had a rivalry for Mezagog in Dino Thunder, and they would, you know, Elsa would kind of give like teas tease Zeltrax, you know, because Zeltrax should always get blamed for everything. So it was kind of felt like that, which, you know, is interesting, but also very ridiculous. But hey, the whole show is ridiculous, so who cares? And at the end of it, we see Calvin, he pulls up, and he's got his uh, driver's license. So he's like, hey guys, I got my driver's license. Everyone's super pumped. And uh, it was a re- really cool moment at the end. And Mick's like, checking behind his back. He's like, guys, I've got something to show you. we got some new Power Stars. We have, we have a new Ninja Bike Power Stars for everybody. Check them out. 
out, enjoy them, like them, love them, and uh, that's pretty much how the episode ends. Really, really great episode. I actually think I liked this episode even more so than the Preston episode. I thought this one, I really enjoy the Haley and Calvin characters, and I, I thought this was really cool and fun, and uh, this is going to be a standout one for me from this whole season so far. It has to be one of my favorites out of the five, so uh, really great episode. I really recommend checking it out. If you have or haven't, do it again. It was it was a lot of fun. What did you guys think of the episode, and what are your predictions? I did a Gold Ranger video very recently, so if, you, if you're curious as to my thoughts on the Gold Ranger, and some, I have a bunch of predictions, uh, I, I checked that video out, and of course, next week, we've got a brand new episode of Ninja Steel. Now, I do want to give you guys a heads up. Uh, the week before the Power Rangers movie does come out, two weeks from today and Saturday, we're actually going to be getting a double header of Power Ranger episodes. Uh, Saban Brands has, and with Nickelodeon, has announced that episodes 7 and 8 of Power Rangers Ninja Steel will be debuting on the exact same day, so you better get ready for that. More info on that next week, so get ready for that. Thanks so much for watching, and I'm Ryder, signing off with Infinite Attitude, and keep riding, guys. Bye.